Hey loves, Tony here from TL Yarn Crafts and your resident yarn snob is back. But this format, as you can tell, is just a little bit, a little bit different, you know? I have no script, I have no swatches, I have no concealer, but what I do have is about 20 packages from Amazon that, like most of us, I have yet to open. <sighs> So several weeks ago, I had the bright idea to order a whole bunch of hooks from Amazon that I've never tried before. And then I started working on another project and these have just been piled up in the corner of my room. I am ready for a deep clean, so these babies gots to go. So on today's video, I'm gonna open every single one of these boxes, try out these hooks, and let you know which ones are my favorites. But before we jump into my Amazon haul, let's give a little love to my video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for the curious and the creative. Millions of members visit this video workshop platform to learn everything from illustration and design to video and photography and even how to get organized and be more productive. Skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and your skill level no matter where you are on your creative journey. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes that you can take anytime and anywhere for less than $10 a month when you upgrade to the premium membership. If you're ready to explore new skills, deepen your existing passions, and get lost in your own creativity, start your membership today. The first 1,000 subscribers to click the Skillshare link down in the description will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. Okay, now let's get down to business. I'm gonna open all of these packages, tell you some specs about all of these hooks that I bought, and try them out on some whips that I currently have. I honestly didn't even need to make swatches because I have so many whips going on right now that I'm sure I have something that will match each of the hooks that I've purchased today. All right, so here comes our first package. Oh my God, don't laugh at me. These are always hard for me to open, like I can't. Oh, she cute? Look at this little case. So this is super cute. I still don't know what this is yet. I'm gonna pull it up on the computer, but first things first, it's really, really cute. It's got all these colors on it and it's got kind of this snakeskin-esque texture, which is kind of fun. I love it. So let's see what we're working with here. So this is the interchanger. <laughs> So this is the interchangeable crochet hook, nine sizes, aluminum heads, two and a half millimeter to six and a half millimeter with two ergonomic grip silicone handles, crochet hook set for arthritic hands and crochet accessories pink. This cost me $12.99. And according to the photo, I get a whole bunch of hook heads, a couple handles, I don't know, what are those? Cable needles, some plastic tapestry needles, and some stitch markers in this cute little case. Okay, pretty much what I expected, especially when it comes to these cable needles and tapestry needles. I personally am not a huge fan of plastic tapestry needles, and I don't have much use for cable needles, so I'm not even gonna bother with these because there's no way I'm gonna give this a totally objective review. This is what we're really trying to get into here. So we've got two handles, a uh, plasticky kind of silicone grip, and I'm guessing the hook itself goes in here. We've got a pink one and a purple one, same size and everything, so that's good. And then over here, we've got all of our hook heads. So looking at the hook head, I'm getting major Susan Bates vibes which is nice. I'm a Susan Bates girl, so I'm not gonna argue with that. And then it's got this plastic kind of applicator at the bottom, which I'm guessing is what gets it into the hook here. And then we can use this screw thingy, I guess to tighten it up. Oh, okay. I'm feeling that. You know what, that makes a lot of sense. And that's so cute. Oh. Cool, and then it's got the size right here. It's a little tough for you to see, but I can clearly see the size right there. So this is a five and a half millimeter that I just put in here. So let me grab a project, get a hook ready, and see how these go. Alrighty, so here I have a whip for my Adore shawl, which I was working on for Make It Cal 2021. I'm using some gorgeous Montana crochet yarns. I'm low-key surprised that I even grabbed one of my nicer whips to try out these hooks with. I was really planning to get some of the junk that's been sitting at the bottom of my closet, but I was like, you know what, if we're gonna give this an honest try, let's use it on a whip that I actually really like. So this project calls for a six millimeter hook, so I pulled out the six millimeter hook head here. I'm gonna drop it into the handle, use my handy dandy tool here, and tighten her right, right, right uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna tighten her right up. There we go, just like that, okay, perfect. I am working here just on single crochets. So let's see how this goes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is actually really nice. 
oh, these hooks are smooth. And what I'm always expecting with hooks like this is that there's going to be some kind of residue on the hooks when you first start using them. But this is actually really, really nice. It's flowing through the stitches easily. The thumb rest here on the hook is right where I need it to be. I'm getting pretty clean and even tension, even though I can't feed my yarn to save my life. This is starting out on a good note. Famous last words, perhaps? I don't know. I'm really, really enjoying this. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the kind of hook that I could use all day long. I'm thinking that the only thing I don't love about it is I'm the kind of person that chokes up on the hook, obviously. So this thumb rest is well-placed, but I don't crochet with the head of my hook this far away from my hand. I usually will choke up on the hook itself. So I'm constantly encouraged to put my finger all the way up here. And I kind of wish, wish the thumb rest was here instead of all the way down here. But all things considered, I'm liking this hook. So quick review of these hooks. I'm really, really liking them. They're super smooth. They've got hook heads just like Susan Bates, which are my absolute favorites. There are some things that I would do if I'm going to hold on to these hooks for a long time. First thing I'm gonna do, as cute as it is, is I'm gonna get them out of this case. This case takes up way too much space and you can't store any other notions in here. I don't love the notions that came with it. So the first thing I would do is find a cute little notions pouch to put all of this into. The other issue that I could see happening with hooks like this is this little tool right here. You absolutely need it to tighten the hook heads. And what I would do is actually drill a little hole in the opposite side of it and put this on a keychain to make it a little bit easier to find because I know this cute little plasticky thing is going to get lost or commandeered by one of my cats. So all things considered, I'm thinking this is a pretty good set. I like it. Here we go. Let's get to the next one. <laughs> That's probably a bad idea. Okay, I won't do that again. So inside this one, we have another package. Let me see if I can find out what this is really quick. All right, so this one is looking like it's gonna be very similar to the first set we just looked at. This one is called Yarn Mania Ayana Crochet Hooks Light Up. Crochet hooks with 16 sizes, interchangeable aluminum heads, ergonomic curve shape, soft handle, and two brightness settings premium set. Ooh, she's so fancy. And we've got two sets of zippers, so I'm guessing that we've got some compartments in here, which I'm really excited about. So let's get them open and see if they're any good. Alrighty, so we've got Yarn Mania here on the front since 2017 that's awesome on the back it's just plain so you've got this pretty turquoise with gold on it as well and these pretty gold zippers opening the first compartment is where we have the actual hooks so similar to the last hooks that we were working with these have these little plastic adapters at the bottom and just like the last ones, very similar to the last ones, it's got the size here. I kind of like that these go all the way up to a 10 millimeter, which is really, really nice. And we go all the way down to a size I'm not gonna use. This is a two millimeter, so that's cool. We've got another little baby ranch. This one is metal, which is actually nice and maybe won't be so easy to lose or break. In here, we've got two different handles. So we've got, oh, we got more sizes, yeah. So we've got a 12 millimeter and we've got a 14 millimeter. Then that way, unlike the last set, we can just have one set with all the sizes. So in here we have this handle, which I don't love. I mean, purple and yellow, whose idea was that? I don't know. And then we've got kind of this ergonomic handle. I'm not a fan of these. These remind me a lot of the Addy Swings, which I know some people like, but I feel like it throws off the way I move my hand, so I can tell you off the bat, I'm probably not gonna get much use out of that. Ah, so over here, it's just like a really cute case. Unzipping the compartment here, we've just got space for stuff. Down here, it looks like we've got the charger cable for the actual light up situation, which is cool. And over here, we have all of our notions, so more locking stitch markers. These actually look like they might be a little bit better than the last ones. I'm not seeing that extra kind of slip of plastic on the tip. So we'll try those out, we'll try it. Here we've got the handles. I'm guessing they go on the swing handle. Like I don't really wanna use a swing handle, but I'll try it, I'll try it. Ooh, those smell weird. Just heads up, they have an odor. Then in here, we've got our metal tapestry needles, a whole bunch of them. Then we've got a set of little nippers, the little scissor situation. Probably shouldn't put my mouth on that. 
Ah, oh, it's these kinds. And these are very sharp, so be careful, not for children. The soft tape measure. One quick tip, always make sure you test your tape measures. They are not all very well made, and sometimes the measurements are off. As easy as it is to make a halfway decent tape measure, not everybody can do it. Just saying. Okay, so since I have my Adore shawl here already, I'm going to find the six millimeter hook. These are not labeled on the outside, so I have to pull them out to see what size is what. So like before, I'm going to slip this in. doesn't slip in quite as easily, and that's all right. But I'm going to... Uh, okay, I did that wrong, apparently. Um, I don't want to have to work for it. I'm not going to lie. So that slipped in. <sighs> oh, God. It is a little tough to see, but where my thumb is... The hook head should be right above it, and you can see that it is slightly skewed. I don't even want to go through the frustration of trying to make this work. I don't want to, but I will for you because I love you. Because I love you so much, and I'm so glad you're here. So let's get all this junk out the way. Grab the Adore shawl again and see if we can even get any reasonable amount of stitching before I totally lose my mind. I'm guessing the answer is no. I mean, they're cute because they're gold. I do like gold. Uh, let's see. So... <laughs> Okay, here we go. No. No. Nope. Mm-mm. So it's out of alignment, which means that I have to move my hands a little bit differently and a little bit, mm, -mm. It's It's already making my wrist hurt. It's, <laughs> it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. They're so cute. And if you like this swing style, it could be a good fit, but this hook head not being straight is a problem. And just to double check, to make sure it's not me and that I didn't install it incorrectly, like you can see it's tight in there. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, but it's not gonna work out. And I am, I am so sorry, it's not gonna work. But I will go ahead and get it charged up and let's see if the light on it works pretty well. I'm actually really, really bummed that this set is not going to work because I feel like it took all of the best parts of the first one that we looked at, put it in here, expanded on it. But if the hook is not functional, it doesn't matter how many bells and whistles. It doesn't matter how cute of a lipstick that you put on her. She's just not going to work out. Fingers crossed it's just a defect in the set that I got. From one item to the next, we're going to open up this next package. Keep saying I'm not going to shake them, but to do. <laughs> All right. <sighs> so I live in the United States of America and Prim is just not a line of products that are easily accessible to us. But if I'm not mistaken, I think these are easy to find in Australia. So when I finally did find these on Amazon, I'm like, gotta get them. You know, it's a reputable product when the description and the name is really, really short. This is the Prim Crochet Hook for Wool Ergonomics, three and a half millimeter, two six millimeter times one set, multi one size. So these cost me $33.75 for five hooks, which is not an issue for me. I've spent way more for one hook. We've got three and a half, four, four and a half, five, and six millimeter. I personally have been really excited to try these ever since I saw them at a yarn convention. I love all of the really pretty colors too. It reminds me in a way of what's done with the Clover Amours. So the more you use these kinds of hooks, the more that you'll get used to what color each size is. I'm excited, so let's get these open. Looking at these hooks, I feel like the package already makes them look very giftable. Prim is a relatively new company for us here in the States, but they've got this very clean, Vibe, this very, you know, minimalist aesthetic. On the box here it says Prim Ergonomic. So they are ergonomic kind of handles. They kind of remind me a little bit of like a Furls Streamlines handle. On the back, it just has the sizes. This is clearly not an American company. These are made in Germany. And it says that it's an optimized hook and that it is super smooth. So you say, oh, we're about to find out. I want to be gentle though, because some of these are quite small. They're really lightweight is the first thing that I'm noticing. They're very lightweight. They're clearly plastic with kind of this rubberized handle, but they do have a pretty design going down the side, which is fun. It's got a nice long throat here. The hook head itself reminds me of kind of a hybrid hook, like a, a clover. On the side here, we've got the size, nice and big. That's probably not gonna wear off as my guess, which is awesome. That's always what I'm looking for. I guess my only issue is it really depends on how you're planning to store these. I typically store my hooks 
hook head up so I won't be able to see the color from the bottom or the size so I'll just need to start getting used to it. One thing that I do like about these is that the handle itself is not too flat. It's not like completely rounded maybe like the streamlines but it's not too flat so it's clearly made to sit really nicely in my hand. So let's grab a project and give these a try. What I've got here is a blanket whip. This uses a six millimeter hook. It is comfy worsted from We Crochet in all of these beautiful colors. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna try the six millimeter hook. One thing of course to note is that I'm working with cotton yarn and I've got a plastic hook. So those differences in materials could cause some friction perhaps. If this doesn't work with the cotton whip, I'm gonna try another project. It definitely, definitely makes a difference. So let's get going. Oh, not a problem. She like butter. She's going right in and out of those stitches. The hook is long enough to sit really comfortably in my hand, which I love. I'm always a bit concerned about the length of hooks because I do have large hands. So I need something that sits comfortably in my hand. A lot of what makes a difference with the way that I crochet is where the hook hits the side of my hand right here, but it's sitting really comfortably. These are actually really, really nice. I am pleasantly surprised. I'm getting pretty comfortable, consistent gauge. I do like too, these, as you can see here, it doesn't start to widen out until about down here. And since I choke up on my hooks anyway, that's about where my fingers are. So it's not gonna throw off the size of my stitches and my tension is gonna stay even. Oh man, how am I gonna finish this review? I just wanna work on the rest of my blanket with these hooks. I, I don't, I, I can't, I, I, I don't even know what else to say. I'm really, really liking these hooks. I was already excited to try them out. And now that I have, I am, really really happy with these and look at the colors these colors are so cute for 33 dollars for a full set of hooks mostly full set of hooks they're fantastic there are only 12 in stock and the only reason i didn't have these before is because they're so hard to find so if you're trying to find a set of hooks that's just really comfortable pretty reasonably priced all usable sizes i think these are a strong contender for sure these prim hooks are a strong contender all right, loves, we are on to the next one. I'm sure you're wondering if she's gonna shake it. Oh, she's indeed going to shake it. Sounds like beans. I'm not getting much out of that one. Ooh, pink metallic. Okay, so it looks like when I was ordering these hooks, I was a little bit obsessed with the whole interchangeable situation. I have a lot of interchangeable Tunisian crochet hooks, so I was like, hmm, maybe I need more interchangeable regular crochet hooks. So I got the second gen Yarn Mania Ayana crochet hooks, light up crochet hooks with 12 sizes, interchangeable aluminum, heads ergonomic, curve shape, soft handle with two brightness settings, light pink ultimate now if you recall we had another product from yarn mania which is now on the ground because it was crap that was this one okay all the sizes gold hooks really pretty case unusable hooks so these ones i guess are different i can't really tell how different they are let's get it open and see if we feel differently <laughs> so let's open her up all right, first thing I see here is some instructions and we've also got a removable pouch. That's actually pretty nice. I'm guessing this is where all of the notions are. So we've got another set of those um, clippers. We've got more plastic locking stitch markers, yay. Okay, we've got another tape measure, cool, cool. And then we've got changeable handles. Looks like we've got another swing handle situation. We've got some metal Tapestry needles, I'll take all the metal tapestry needles you got, no problem. We've got another handle, so we've got kind of a limey green, we've got a blue, and we've got a red, and then there's pink on it already. We've got more hook heads, which, why didn't they make space for these in the package? All things considered, I would probably put them in here anyway. But we've got in here, we've got a teeny tiny two millimeter, We've got a seven millimeter, <gasps> you kidding me? It is so hard to find a seven millimeter hook. So if these work, girl, I'm done. And we've got an eight millimeter, so that's cool as well. So I'll drop this stuff back in here, very nice. And then in the case itself, we've got the charger cord for where it lights up. We've got the handle, which we have another swing situation. This looks literally exactly like the last one. I'm gonna grab 
Oh, it's already lit up too. Okay, so we do have two brightnesses. So it's off and then it's the brightest and then it's the dimmest here. That's pretty cool. So if I drop a hook in, I got my little baby ranch and twist that around. This feels, okay, I don't wanna jinx it, but this feels promising. So I'm gonna drop my wrench back in and let's close this up and grab a whip and see if this is gonna work. So the first thing that I'm noticing, of course, still is that my thumb is too far away from the hook head. So my first instinct, of course, is to pull it all the way up, but that's okay. We'll make it work, we'll make it work. All right, so back to our single crochet stitches. Oh, it's the handle, man. I guess the issue that I'm gonna have here is that this handle does nothing for me, right? So this handle is like that Addy Swing handle. And the way that I have to choke up on the hook anyway, my hand is not even falling into the contours of this hook, which is unfortunate because I'm not really getting the use out of it that it wants me to. Uh, but you know what, that's, I don't know, it's it's okay. I want to love my crochet process. I don't wanna just like it. I don't wanna just deal with it. I don't wanna just, you know, be okay with what I've got. I want to love the process. I want to love the look of my hooks. I want to love my project. I don't know, maybe I didn't click through the photos right, but I didn't realize that all of these hook handles were gonna be like the swing hooks. I thought they were gonna be straight. It's not for me. It's this type of hook, this shape of hook is not for me. I'm gonna turn the light on real quick. Even though it's light in here, I'm just gonna get a feel for what the light is like. It looks like it's lighting up, of course, from the base and then the hook itself is metal, which if it's gonna light up, I would prefer that. I love a metal hook. So it's going to light up and illuminate through the plastic. So if I light up here, I can already tell that I'm getting light in all the places that I need to. I can see where my stitches are and I can see where my hook is going into but it's not lighting up the hook, so it's not distracting on the area that I'm actually looking at. It's lighting up the area around the stitches and around the hook as opposed to the hook itself. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest with you real quick. I am a yarn snob at heart through and through, but I'm also a person who can admit when maybe she's being unreasonable. And perhaps I have judged these hooks too harshly because in those last few stitches, it was actually getting quite comfortable. The hook itself is very nice. It's super smooth. It's got the Susan Bates situation going on. Uh, the handle is nice, kind of got that rubberized clover amour situation going on. Kind of since my hand is not falling into the natural contours of this hook, it's actually not too bad to use. So this is my third set opening up hooks like this. So maybe I just had some expectations and didn't really give this one a chance right off the bat. I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. I'm gonna give this a tentative thumbs up. Compared to the last set that we tried from the same company from Yarn Mania, I would definitely reach for this set before that one. The alignment of the hooks is perfect. Even though I don't love the handle, I could make it work. And worst case scenario, I feel like I could use the light up situation. I've always felt like lighted hooks were a bit of a gimmick. I don't know, maybe it could be a good fit. You know, if I'm hanging out in my living room and I don't wanna turn another light on, I can just turn my hook on. I'm gonna give these a try and maybe in a future episode of my podcast or something, I'll let you know how it's going. On to the next one. Ah, yes, yes. Okay, so these came in two separate boxes, but they're from the same company. And I ordered these because they were really, really pretty. The hook is Divot Shilp Streamline Ergonomic Streamline. It's looking real similar. Streamline ergonomic handle crochet hooks, handcrafted seven inch teak wood crochet hook, knitting needle craft yarn weave, best gift exclamation point. So I got a 10 millimeter and a six millimeter because I know they both look ever so slightly different. So let's get them open. So the first one I'm opening here is the 10 millimeter. It's so funny. Okay, they're packaged just like furls with the small box like this. They've got little cute things on the flaps as you open them, just like, just like furls. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's cute. Okay, I don't love that. They're stamped right in the middle with the size in a hideous font and it's bolded. Okay, I mean, you get what you pay for out here. This hook was $10, $9.95 with prime shipping. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, some things I don't like about this hook. 
So this hook head is too round. This is giving me like Knit Picks Tunisian crochet hook vibes. If you've ever purchased their Tunisian crochet hooks or even their regular crochet hooks, I think the hook head is way too round. But the throat is, is a nice size. The depth looks pretty nice. The wood itself is pretty. I just, I can't get over how hideous this is. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. So that's the 10 millimeter. So the other size I have, oh my God, look at this. I'm so disappointed. Look at this. Look at how ugly that is. Guys, I can't. And like the wood itself is similar, but like it's dull. It's super dull. It's not really as smooth as I would hope it was. The hook head itself, like it's really sharp here. The craftsmanship is not fabulous. And this is a problem. You'll never see this hook in an Instagram photo of mine. I guarantee it. I like honestly don't even want to use this. <laughs> Okay, but I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna be honest about it. I'm gonna give it the old college try because I said I would, so I am. So this is the six millimeter wood hook cotton yarn. Let's do this. Uh, here we are. Mm. I need to speak to a manager. Customer service. Uh, okay, I'm not even gonna go any further than this. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to torture myself for science today. I'm just not, I'm not. I got a lot of reasons. I ain't never using these hooks again. One, the look. And it's not even like the hooks were ugly before and you tried to make them pretty. The hooks were pretty before and you made them ugly because you wanted to put your marketing all over it. I feel like there's a better way to do it. And with a hook like this, honestly, you don't need to have your marketing on it. You need to come up with a hook that is so distinct that nobody's gonna confuse it for something else. But perhaps you did this because you made hooks that look exactly like somebody else's. Jury's still out. And like the printing on it, it's like if you're gonna print on it, make sure the print looks good. Like make sure the print is readable. Make sure it's not blurry. Maybe use the same font. These fonts aren't even the same from hook to hook, which gives me the impression that I could never even own a full set of these hooks and make them look like they're part of a set. The hook heads are not the same. They're just not good. They're just not good. Get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. I can't. And this is not me being a yarn snob. This is not me being petty. This is not me being picky. This is me feeling like hooks like that are the reason that sometimes beginners don't get further into crochet. I feel like tools are imperative to make sure that you have a positive crochet experience. It's the one thing you need not worry about when you're learning a new stitch or trying a new pattern or playing with new yarn. Your tools should be an afterthought, all things considered. And hooks like those make the process harder. I can't stand it. I won't stand it. And you shouldn't either. I'm just saying. Moving on. We got this boy right here. I think what I'm shaking is the packaging. I don't even think I'm shaking the actual product at this point. Okay, plastic corded Tunisian crochet hooks. Only reason I bought these is because I get asked a lot, do you know of a reasonably priced corded Tunisian crochet hook set? A lot of the sets that I like start at like 30 or 40 bucks and go way, way, way up from there. But these ones are the 12 sizes Afghan Tunisian crochet hook set, three and a half millimeter to 12 millimeter weave needles with multicolor pipe, perfect for large projects. These are $11.98 for 12 hooks. And they've got long cords. I'm gonna get these open and see if these actually are a good beginner set. I have a project down here and um, yeah, let's give these a go. So I didn't have this camera recording, but the moment I took these out of the package, I literally gagged from the smell. It's, it, oh God. It's like the worst rubber smell. It's not like burnt rubber, it's just like, I wonder if this is what it smells like in like a tire factory. So looking at the sizes, they're all pretty good. Um, right off the bat, I'll definitely say that these hook heads are concerning. The fact that these aren't pointed down and more so pointed forward is going to make gripping the yarn a little tough. Like this one honestly looks like it's unusable. It's so forward facing. Uh, it says that the hook heads are really smooth, but they all have this little notch on the side. 
I don't know if you can see that super well, but it's got this little notch on the side and that's not super smooth. That's not what you sold me. That's not what you said. I do like the colors. Some of the colors are repeated. So this is not the set where you're going to get used to certain sizes being certain colors. Like this is a seven and a half and this is a six and a half and they're the same color. <laughs> I think you can probably guess that I'm trying these out for the sake of trying them out. These would never, even if they were good, which I'm not saying they're not yet. But even if these were good, these would never be the set that I use. <laughs> Interchangeable hook sets are just better. That's that's it. That's all there is to it. Like this cord situation is going to drive me nuts because there's no way I'd be able to store these together because they're always going to be tangled. But whatever. The hook size that I'm using for my current Tunisian crochet project is a six millimeter. So I'm going to find the six and see if we can make it do what it do out here, okay? Because I'm a professional. I'm gonna be professional about this and I'm gonna give it an honest try because I said that I would. So this is my current Tunisian crochet project. This uses Lion Brand True Boo, which is 100% bamboo, which I think will still work just fine with the plastic hook. The things that I'm most concerned about are the smoothness going over this join, which running my finger over it, I am not optimistic. I think the tip of this is gonna be fine, but there's a clear seam running down the middle of these hooks, which which I'm also concerned about. One thing that I do like is that these do have thumb rests. That's a little tricky to find in a Tunisian crochet hook set. So that might be one thing it has going for it. So, okay, here we go. So that's a seam. Mm. Um, you know what, try it, Tony. Don't complain yet, just try it. Oh my gosh. You know what, it's not awful, but it's not great. It's the same situation as the last hooks, where it's like, I don't wanna have to fight with my project. I don't wanna have to fight with my tools. I don't even necessarily wanna condition my tools before I use them. Like there's some people out there who are like, yeah, I got these rough wooden hooks and I just sanded them down. I don't know that I strike you as the kind of person who keeps sandpaper in my house but I'm not. I don't know if I strike you as the kind of person who hangs out at hardware stores. Not my thing. I like my stuff to be usable out of the package. I already know what my issues are gonna be here, but I wanna at least use them until I can get to a part where the stitches go onto the cord to see if I have any issues with that join. I've got yarn down on the cord now and I didn't even feel it move. So clearly the taper between the hook and the cord is nice. So now that I've got a few stitches down on my cord, I'm gonna do a return pass. Okay, so here we go on the return pass, which is honestly giving me a lot more trouble than the forward pass. I think the angle of this hook head is coming into play here. Since it's not as angled downward, I have to kind of adjust the way that I'm turning my hands to get it through for the return pass. But, Nice enough, I'm not having any issues at the join to the cord. So these aren't unusable, but I've got a much longer list of reasons why I don't like them than that I do like them. Are these fine enough hooks to learn Tunisian crochet with? Sure. If you don't feel completely committed to Tunisian crochet yet and you just want some hooks to try out, these are fine enough. Here's my thing. If you don't wanna buy a 60, 80, $100 set of Tunisian crochet hooks, buy a single Tunisian crochet hook from a good company. So like Chai Gu, Tulip, Clover. Just buy one really good hook in, instead of a set of not good hooks. So if you were to say, hey, Tony, I ain't got a whole bunch of money, but I want to get a set. Should I get these? I won't say no. But what I will say is that you're just not going to have as great of an experience. And especially if you're trying a craft for the very first time, if you don't have a good experience and you don't know to know that it's the tools and not the materials and not the technique, if you don't know, you're just going to be like, I just wasn't able to get the hang of Tunisian crochet or I just didn't like it. And I don't want that for you, honey, because I, I think you can do it and I think you'll be great. So just get some good ones. You know what I'm saying? Just get some good ones. I made a whole video about good ones. I think it's up here. Yeah. Watch it. It's great. <laughs> So all things considered, I'm really excited with the purchases that I got from Amazon today. There were definitely a couple hits and certainly a lot more misses, but that's what happens when you're trying products 
basically sight unseen when you don't really know if what you ordered is what you're going to get. It's all a little bit of trial and error. So I hope you found a few things that you're going to try as well. If you did, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.